Uh, so I don't know how good y'all can see that or not. So I had some old flat boat barge wood uh, from way back in the day, a couple of hundred years old, taken out of an old building was going to get thrown away. I've been thinking for a while now what I was going to repurpose it into, and tonight I decided to to actually carve out my first dugout canoe. And right now I'm getting ready to do the first burn. Got some charcoal in there and all of the sawdust and carving shavings from today. And I mean, just a couple hours. Already got it pretty well shaped on both sides. Even got some cool stuff on the bottom. But I'm uh, gonna do that first burn. I figured I'd invite y'all in on it because I'm ready. Oh, I gotta start somewhere when you're wanting to build a dugout canoe. You're from St. Bernard and all that old world cypress is gone. But every now and then you find a diamond in the rough and you get to do it again. I've had the pleasure of being on a a dugout it definitely an antique boat whoever made it he made it well too held my 300 pounds plus another 200 pounds that boat had over 500 I'd say like 550 but got my little handy dandy extinguisher if the wood starts getting out of control where I don't want it to burn oh that's warm first dugout though This is pretty cool, y'all. Start small, think big. This is an epitome of it right here, right now. The moments in time, the mountains you climb, like wind blows through a wind chime. Never seen but felt, the cards that life dealt. You can call or fold, just hold on to your eternal soul. And that's a mother's wisdom and a, I guess a son's interpretation of it. But I'm going to sit out here for a little while while I wash clothes and watch my little controlled burn dugout boat. Hope you all appreciate it out there. This piece of wood's at least 200 years old. Still got the wood uh, plugs from where it came out of, the, out of the barge and then went into the wall and it was full of square nails. And instead of letting that wood go to the dump, and it's not real wood, it's like something in between. It's kind of like hard, but it's soft, you know, because it's just so old. So uh, I couldn't let it go to the dump, and I've been having it for about a year now. And this is the second or the third piece I'm going to give away. But this is the first one that's artistically made. And maybe I might have to do this more often, because in two and a half, three hours, I got a dugout, man. Look at that, it's already starting to char up. I'm trying not to extinguish it, just get what I don't want to burn. So I've seen this on YouTube, but with much bigger boats, y'all. Tell me what you think. I got pictures of all of it from the beginning to its current situation. And uh, I'll take y'all along on the journey tonight. Because uh, it's got to get done kind of quick like. But we'll see. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all for quarantine life and doing what you're supposed to be doing, whatever that is. I don't want to say those sayings because I don't like it. But just living life, living your best life, getting outside, staying away from people. Be a hermit every now and then, you know. <sighs> so uh, I guess that's what happens when you're in an eclectic quarter and you got a whole bunch of shit laying around. You find good uses for it.